If you're wondering what an MD5 is, it's something that encrypts a password. So let's say that you are sending a password to a database, it encrypts it so that if it's you need to decrypt it to get the password out of it. You'll see what I mean in the first part of this tutorial where I'll be showing you how to encrypt your own password. So if we go to Google Chrome, and uh, mine's opened up on my other screen, so I'm just going to drag it over. And I'm going to close down all these tabs. And I'm going to type in to the URL bar HTTP www.md5 encryption encryption.com. And we're into a simple looking website. It has two sections MD5 decryption and MD5 encryption. Uh, I'm going to be demonstrating how to um, do the decryption bit, but I'm going to be using a different one. Uh, a different program which is a lot better than just doing it through a website. So I'm going to type in password. I'm going to press encrypt. You see this, we'll get this long number here. And the original text is password. So in here, this hash now means password. So if I go to MD5 decryption and paste in it, uh, MD5 and press decrypt it, you'll be able to get my password out of it. But uh, for the decrypting bit, I'm going to use some freeware software called Passwords Pro. There is a paid version as well, but I'm just going to be using the normal one. So http www.insidepro.com slash english slash passwords passwords pro dot shtml. That's where you can find uh, the Passwords Pro website. So this is what Passwords Pro looks like. You'll see that if there's a long list of uh, MD5s there, and it'll show here. And you can just go over to uh, the download bit, which is somewhere on here. Um, where is it? I'll find it eventually. Okay, where is the download? There's a download link here somewhere. I bet you guys have already found it. Uh, do do do. Ah, oh, there it is. It's over in the corner. That's kind of silly, but oh, well. download, and the download will start. So there's only a couple seconds to wait. So I don't need to pause the video. And then uh, there's different ways it does it. If you can just read down here how it, it does a dictionary, it does brute force, it does rainbow tables, and on here you can find dictionaries. So these are all the dictionaries you can download uh, and rainbow tables. Those are rainbow tables, and they do it for uh, different ones. And it says a success rate, so MD5, and then it has a success rate of 99.86% that it will crack the MD5 for you. Um, I already have downloaded this, but I'm going to download it again for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to make a new folder on my desktop. I'm going to call it Passwords Pro. And very, your antivirus may block this work thing. By the way, so it's to do. It's illegal to like use uh, decrypting passwords in order to break and enter, basically. So I'm just going to wait for this to extract, and I'll show you some of my downloads I have. Passwords Pro, and that'll be helpful if that didn't pop up like that. You can probably hear the wind outside. By the way, it's really windy here. Uh, so I'm going to. These are all the dictionaries I've downloaded. I've combined some of them together you can download these in the description so this is the passwords pro one that um, you might be getting a bit confused now so close that this is the one i've just downloaded so in the dictionaries i'm just going to paste this them dictionaries that i've got there and i'm going to copy and replace them okay so open up passwords pro.exe there's no installing or anything it's uh, all in the zip file and it's taking a while to uh, open up, so it's probably loading all dictionaries up. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it opens up. If right click, you can press add and add for clipboard. Uh, so what we're going to do first is set it up. So we're going to go to service, settings, and we'll go to the combined, uh, we'll go to the dictionaries, and we're going to add the dictionaries from the dictionaries folder. So these are here, so they ends in .dic, so we're going to add them. So there's three dictionaries out of there, and then you can there's up to eight sets of dictionaries you can have. And I've been, I'm going to uh, be downloading all of these uh, dictionaries from this website because I like I decrypt a lot of MD5s. So those are added, and then I'm gonna press OK. 
So, on my little uh, Evernote here, if you don't know what Evernote is, it's absolutely amazing. I'm just reading off here what I said I was going to be doing. Um, I'm going to copy these MD5s and I'm going to add from clipboard. So, these are the MD5s I've got. I'm going to select the hash type. So, the hash type is MD5. Passwords Pro supports a lot of MD5s. And then you can see that it says hash salt. Uh, salt's um, the free letter. Uh, how to demonstrate? Basically, I'll put it. I'll put it on here. So this is uh, what a uh, salt may look like. And then you you may only get this. And without that salt, you won't be able to decrypt it. So I've got my MD5s there. This is stuck at the top of my screen. There we go. Got my MD5s loaded. I'm going to press add, and it should add them all. Uh, it didn't add them all for some reason, so I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> uh, add. No, that's why I didn't do it. Right. Add from clipboard. Okay. Why is it only adding one? Right. Just to say, I'm gonna add. Okay. So I, I remember now why that won't work. For you need to buy the software to do mass imports. I'm only gonna add one of them, and I'm gonna go to add it and simple dictionary attack. And we're gonna see if it decrypts this. See how long it takes for it to do it. So it's just loading it up now. It's a bit slower. All passwords found. The password for it was hello. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh yeah, I've already got some over here. So I'm gonna encrypt. I'm gonna decrypt another one. So I'll do delete, edit that, and paste that in. Let's see how long it takes to crack this one. All right, I need to clear the password. I'm just gonna delete it and add a new one so this is the new one select MD5 and press add see how long it takes to decrypt this one passwords are found new password okay so that's a basically demonstration I also wanted to show you one more thing I'm not promoting this by the way it's called www.hashhack Com. And I really like this website. It's a database where you can submit and uh, submit and uh, decrypt. What um, uh, what am I saying? You can add MD5 hashes and you can crack MD5 hashes. So if I paste in that MD5 and then do the spam prevention, we'll see if it's in the database. So it might take a while to do it. Because it's looking through uh, thousands and thousands of MD5s. Okay, so, yep, it's success. The MD5 was new pass. And you can add an MD5 hash. So, say that you want to paste this MD5 hash in to there, press 5, submit. And you can add an MD5 hash into it. So, now when I search that MD5 hash, should crack it and I don't know what the password is for this one either. yeah the password was hello so I prefer using passwords pro because I'm just gonna I've got the full version of it so I'm just gonna go to Jack Miller downloads passwords pro I'm gonna show you how fast it can mass decrypt it so I'm gonna copy these md5s here I just screwed something up. Right, there we go. Right. Absolutely again. Right. Copy these. And open up this. So now I should be able to add lots of uh, as many ND5s as I want. Yeah. Okay, so if I press the start. Ah, um, it's good to serve it and it's set it all up again. So dictionaries. It's going to delete these. So remove all files yes add. so I'm gonna add the Facebook one the inside pro one and the passwords pro one and start see how fast it does it so it's found one password found another password all passwords found so the passwords here see that these passwords are quite complicated like Justine that's quite complicated and it's cracked it uh, I say complicated but it's quite you know it's not like password or uh, um, change me or something like that. So that's how to encrypt and decrypt MD5s. All the links will be in the description for what I used today. Um, 
please, uh, this is just a request, but please don't paste uh, paste MD5s in the comments or inbox me MD5s to uh, decrypt. Chances are you can find another method. All you have to do, really, is you can just paste an MD5 into Google and uh, it should be already decrypted somewhere on the internet. So what Google's a good decryptor as well, I guess. So it, look how many there is for, there's up to 10, there's loads of search results for uh, decrypted MD5s. So use that instead of uh, commenting. Cause chances are I'm not going to reply to it. Uh, if you like this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.